if you want to run multiple React applications in your local development environment, and one of them use the create React app or CRA command line interface to generate the application, here are your options to specify a specific port. So let's say you have one, one React app running on port 3000 by default, as you can see here. What usually happens if you issue the command npm start on the second app is that you can get a message uh, like this saying that uh, another app is already on port 3000 with that particular process ID. And if you want, the COI or the CRA COI will select another port for you, usually port 2001. However, if 3001 is running another process, what are your options? Well, like I said, if you are using um, the CRA, what you could do is on line 13 in the start script, what you can do is type port, all capital, right, all caps. If you do it lowercase, it won't work and you can specify a specific port and then npm start it that way and it will start in port 1776. What I found was that using that approach was not consistent for me. So what are your options after that? Well, what you could do is create an environment, uh, a local environment file by going right click new file dot env, okay? As you can see here, I've already created that file. And then in that file, you can specify the port. Again, all caps, 1776, or whatever port you want, okay? And from here, you can just go ahead and issue the command npm start. So I'm gonna to go to the other application that currently is not running. Let me clear that out. npm start. Okay, and it's firing up the browser for me and it's going to port 1776. Okay, so now I got a React app running on port 1776 and the other React app running on port 3000. Okay, 3000, 1776. So, Again, if you don't want to do this, uh, you can use the port, specify the port, assignment operator. Remember, the port history are all caps, assignment operator, and specify whatever port you want, okay? Uh, for Windows, you have to uh, type set port and then and react start app, uh, react uh, start, react script start, excuse me. But for me, using the uh, local.inf file is much more consistent, especially if you're working in a team environment where people are using multiple machines. Okay, good luck. Thank you. For, thank you for watching. You found this interesting. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.